Football may dominate the sporting landscape in the Pan American region, but it has not stopped badminton administrators from doing their bit to raise the profile of the game. Nor has it stopped the badminton stars of the Americas showing off their skills at the recently concluded Olympics in Rio. And it certainly did not stop their young players from turning up for the 2016 Pan Am Junior Championships. I'm really happy because um, cause I because I won first place and first place is really it's a really nice feeling to win. And I'm happy because uh, I worked so hard for this for this time for like a year, two years. I'm very excited because this is the first medal I've won in a Pan American tournament. I got the silver medal. I'm very happy with the result. The Pan Am Junior Championships had humble beginnings in the 70s, with only the team event. As badminton began to grow in the early 2000s, individual categories were introduced. The tournament has traveled throughout the region, with Peru hosting it this year. We have five categories, under 19, under 17, under 15, under 13, and under 11. Five uh, categories and also team event. In this Pan Am Junior Championship, uh, we can see here the best young players from 19 countries. Yeah, I'm talking about, about 300 players. It's not the first time the nation has hosted a major badminton tournament, having opened its doors to the very best youngsters in the world when it hosted the BWF World Junior Championships last year. It was an event that helped boost the popularity of the sport. It was, for me, the biggest experience for all of us. I'm talking about uh, regarding players, opportunity to, to play, I think, first time against the best young players of the world. And uh, thanks to uh, World Junior Championship, we can start, we, we started with developing a shuttle time program inside of Peru. Today, we had about seven, eight hundred to see, to, to watching the uh, finals matches. Uh, Pan Am Junior is very important. Yeah. Badminton Unlimited was in Lima to witness the region's best shuttlers battle to become champions of Pan America. What also sets this competition apart from many other junior competitions is the inclusion of the under 11 age group. Sometimes it's critical because sometimes they tell ah, it's too young to, to leave this pressure but uh, I think it's, it's not a push, but this is a passion. It's a passion that you have to start when you're a kid. You have to learn it, to live it, and to go further. Now, life is like that, but I think it's how they have to learn. That's why we try to put as young as, as we can. The young shuttlers from across the region learned new skills from competing against players from other countries. Has opportunity, have opportunity to play against players with different styles, uh, different techniques. Uh, it's very important op of opportunity for our players. There are some very good players who compete at the tournament here. These players possess very good technique, and you can see it with the wide range of shots they execute during the matches. For example, if you look at the players from the USA and Canada, you can see that they have a solid foundation in their game. Both the junior and the more senior players are strong in their technique as well. Uh, it helped me develop and grow as a badminton player because, um, because I get a lot of experience when I play and I know what to do later. After two weeks of intense competition, the 25th Pan Am Junior Championships drew to a close. Canada were champions in the team event and had the highest haul of gold medals in the individual categories after USA. Other nations are also showing signs of improvement in the sport. At the same time, we have other teams like Brazil, Peru, we have Salvador, Republic of Dominicana that before you didn't hear about uh, to have a medal. So I think that's a proof that have been made by, by Pan Am, but also for the countries that have been uh, increasing the training that they have for their players. 
The tournament might have ended, but the experience, and not just the medals that the players bring home, will stay long with these shuttlers who are the future of Pan Am Badminton. But I think is is how to manage, how to improve, how the values that they, the, the sport teach you. I think the opportunity that a player have in this kind of tournaments is to learn about life. How do you manage to work with a team because you are not by your own. So it's important, this, uh, once again, this kind of tournament is uh, it's nice for them to see that it's not only one country, it's a whole world that is looking and you have the whole world in, in your, in your feet. With the success of the Pan Am Junior Championships and the continuous growth of badminton in the Americas, the sport is certainly moving in the right direction.